Peacekeeper Commander's Log Update. Renegade Leviathan sighted at Sector Decca Zero. We scrambled six marauders and four prowlers to recover it and the escaped prisoners. Typically, the Leviathan offered no resistance. It appeared unable to retreat, its engines previously disabled. Sylvanet to Centaurus. Target in visual range. No sign of hostile response. Engage. Grunted. Package ETA 12 arms. Do not fail. Strike wing to combat positions. Commando teams at ETA.2 hours. Prepare for hot zone insertion. We engaged the Leviathan successfully. A landing party boarded it to sweep the hostiles. While securing the vessel, we encountered Rigel, the Hynerian escapee. He attempted to evade capture by hiding the ship's systems. Contact acquired and isolated in sector. Get the little frog. It's in the thermal ducts. Meanwhile, in sector two, the peacekeeper deserter Aaron Sun and the Lux and Dargo engage the strike team with deadly force. Sector 2 is hot. Two hostiles in entrenched position. Request grenade! One of the Leviathan's transport ships headed towards the planet. We gave pursuit, but it was determined to be a minimal risk. Ignore it. We were unaware the prisoners had their own prowler. Now let's get the hell out of Dodge. Two more lifeforms escaped, but we engaged them immediately. Unknown prowler escaping Delta Zero. Advise. Destroy it. Hey, hey! The escape power was effectively neutralized. We now have the ship under our control. We are preparing to deliver it ahead of schedule. Return to Decca Zero. The ship is secure. Hello YouTube, this is Scorpwana bringing you a game that many of you have probably never heard of or ever wanted to play. It is Farscape, the game. If no one knows what Farscape is, please click the close button on your browser because uh, it used to be an awesome show, or still is an awesome show in my opinion. Really, really loved it. So, uh, what we're doing now, or what we're going to do, is uh, play this game just a little bit. We're not going to play like the whole thing. I'm going to see how this works out for everybody if everyone likes it or not. If not, I'm not going to play the whole damn thing. But, uh, so, a little background information about this. Sorry about the microphone. It sounds a little cracky. I don't know what for. I hadn't been using it in a while. I guess if you don't use it, you know. But, um, what we're going to do, um, well, the background information first. I'm kind of running ahead of myself. I'm trying to do this as quickly as possible. I don't understand why. I'm just, I feel like I'm in a rush. But, um, this game, well, it came out in 2002, August 13th. So... But before it came out, this guy named uh, Lou Charles that worked at uh, Simon and uh, Schust, okay, I think it's Schust, Schust it was S-C-H-U-S-T, Schuster, I think, Simon and Schuster Interactive. Um, he was a marketing manager and he happened to come across uh, a website that I co-own with Uberchorn, or Chorn as they knew him in the chat which, you know, we all used to be in the Farscape chat back on Sci-Fi Global, um, on, the, on their official, you know, IRC chat. And um, whenever he contacted me, he said, you know, uh, this game's coming out, and it, we, we'd like it if you would uh, demo it and put a review up, like, on your website and, you know, show that it's there and uh, get the word out for it, and, and we'll send you, like, the, a demo copy to play the whole thing, you know. And um, So I got him to send... Uber Torn 1 2 so that we can put like a full review up on our Torn and for, uh, Scorp 1 is Farscape website, which is not there anymore, but there's an archive version of it on sci fi x.com under uh, like the sites menu. I uh, um, maintain the content on that website, but it's really outdated because I have been procrastinating for like years. There's nothing for me to put there because no one ever came there. But a uh, little more information about parts of this game that many people probably didn't know was uh, the official Farscape font does not exist. 
There was a font created by a fan called Brownie, and it was Brownie's Farscape font, 1.0 or whatever you want to call it. Um, and which, you know, you, they uh, looked at the show and they recreated it in a font program, what they thought it looked like on there. And, but I didn't like it too much. So I, I got to research the actual font they used on the show. It was called Pritchard. And uh, Pritchard, you know, it's kind of like Helvetica and all that. It's not pretty much one you'd actually sit there and type the whole thing. It's pretty much for signage and, you know, things of that nature. I've actually seen it on other things besides Farscape. But um, what they what they did was they incorporated uh, this game to where it would um, feed off of the font cache that you have. If you had a font called Farscape, it would use that font in the titles and everything like that for the game. So what I did after I had created my Farscape font, which is Farscape font 2.0 by Scorpwana, um, based off of the actual Pritchard set, you know, looking at that on like myfonts.com and stuff and recreating it from those right there made it more official to me. So I, I put uh, I used it in the game versus the brownie font, which makes it look to me a little bit better and stuff. But um, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna get it back into the game because it's just boring listening to me talk and not actually see anything happen. See, pilot's eyes moving around. This character is called Pilot. If you've never seen the show, again, you know, close the browser. No, I'm kidding. Uh, yeah, he's like a, he's got tentacles, his arms and stuff, and he's part of Moya. Moya is the ship. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, bit more information. This is really distracting hearing him talk with the credits, isn't it? Yeah, that playing in the background thing. Um, this video game, Farscape, is based off of, or actually is part of, the canon part of uh, Farscape, the series. Which this game takes place kind of between episodes 17 and 18, and uh, 17 was like you know around uh, the human reaction area era where after Tiana had been um, you know, brought to the show, and then before they actually went to the Peacekeeper base and you know Scorpius and all that. If you if you're not keeping up with what I'm saying, either you know you don't know. I was a super fan, still am a super fan, and the show got canceled. So. You know, it's kind of like Firefly, but it's different. Anyway, let's get into what we're doing, because I know that I'm boring whenever you're listening to me talk. The video clips for this stuff that's playing in the, like, the intro and stuff, I'm going to have to put in post because it doesn't capture it on Fraps, and that's the only thing I use to capture with. So what we're going to do, we're going to go through a quick tutorial of the game. Welcome to Peacekeeper Command Carrier Vultura's Training Center. I am Captain Bialar Crace. As a training commando, you must first fully understand the basics of commando training before you can begin your career in the service of the Peacekeeper Council. You can use the... Yep. Yeah. Okay, I actually clicked out of that too early. If you need to, you can just read it. That's not a real person. That's like a hologram, supposed to be. But, uh, pretty much the controls... I can go to each one of these little things here in the tutorial and show you like it'll tell you exactly what to do and all that I pretty press much the panel on the console in order to activate it okay I've uh, pretty much forgotten how to play the game because I haven't played it since like uh, you know 2002 or whatever but I thought it'd be kind of interesting because there's very little about Farscape the game out there a lot of people hated it because of the way it was made and you know press the panel on the console okay, in order to it. activate it okay we're gonna click on it alright damn it shit Yay, look, combat. Now, I could go through all this and read it to you, but I think you don't want to hear me read because my reading right now sucks because I'm kind of in this partially asleep mode and partially awake or whatever you want to call it. So, you know, I'll, you can pause it in between these if you need to read them. Combat and all that. Ranged combat. Locking on. Ammo, yeah, different between ammo and not yet. Secondary fire modes. There's two firing modes per weapon, depending on what kind it is. Punching, duh, you know, for some of you. All right. A combat drone will soon be activated for you to test your combat skills. It will not harm you, but disable it quickly and effectively. Yes, ma'am. Let's walk over here. You uh. 
get around by uh, clicking on the left mouse button and pointing at the floor. You shoot your weapon. Excellent, peacekeeper. Yay. But remember, the foes you meet in the field will be less docile. Docile. Um. Yeah, you you uh, shoot by Press clicking. Press the panel on the console Shit. in order Shut to activate up, it. Guy. Bylar Kreis, I aka voice of pilot on the series, and Kreis. Uh, yeah, you you right click on your mouse to shoot. And then you notice at the bar, very bottom left corner. Press the panel on the console in bitch. order to activate it. Son of a bitch! up, damn. It, it'll go down. The ammo is using two to whatever to four, depending on how long you hold the, bug, the button down. Um, rotate the camera by using the arrow keys next to the keypad, and you can press one, two, three on the. Uh, what do you call it? Press the panel on the console in order to activate it. Shit! Shut the hell up. Um, that's just what y'all told me. Shut up. Okay. Yay, enemies! It's talking about all the certain types of shit or whatever you know. You click. Let's see. Okay, regular enemies. Pause if you need to. Pause if you need to. Pause if you need to. Pause if you need. To. Yeah, energy and all that kind of stuff. I don't. I should really go through all that. You know, like the physical gray, energy blue, chemical red. Three types of damage weapons are color coded by inventory. The amount of type for each weapon is also color coded with a matching weapon. All it. Items are for color coordinated, uh, color coded green. When you hit that item, I'll create your animal. You have to come out. Whatever. Okay. And then there's this one. Yeah, field combat. That's a bunch of stuff. Radar, logbooks, camera, inventory, sidekicks, communications. All that good stuff. Look at that. Low camera, high camera. It pretty much tells you one through whatever. It tells you everything you need to know. And I probably need to actually read over it. But this is a video of playing the game, not reading the game. So We're going to see how this video does too. I doubt it will get like past three views. But uh, if so, you know, I'll make more. Buy and sell weapons. I remember that. Trading, earning credits, the marketing traders, begin trades, selling, buying, stashing. It didn't perform too well for some fans, though, this uh, game. Following some hips and tips uh, on your mission, if you're not sure how to proceed, talk to the town inhabitants. It's pretty much, you know, pretty straightforward. Alright, let's go actually into the game. You can return here at any time to access this information. Good luck, Commando. Serve us well. You're welcome, Christ. Yes. Alright. What we're gonna do now is play the actual game. We're gonna create a new game. I'm gonna put my name in. My name is John Crichton, an astronaut radiation yeah. waited, and I got shot. Little trick about this game too, or a little code I guess you could say. You could put a special name into the player name area and it would create PK Crichton. Which is the Crichton used, or the one where he's wearing his uh, PK vest, you know, the peacekeeper vest and the uh, leather pants and all that. But that, this is pretty much like if you're a if you were a fan of the show and you knew the the mythology of the show and all this kind of stuff about it, you remember Winona, the pistol, right? Well, this is pretty much in here on this episode or pre-episode or mid-episode between 17 and 18 or whatever. I, it may be 17, 18. I cannot really remember. It's been so long and I didn't do any kind of research. But it's been like years. It's been over 12 years or so since I've watched Farscape. But, um, yeah, you could, uh, you could find, like, you know, he goes in. He's got Winona, the, wet, the Peacekeeper Pulse Rifle or Pulse Pistol. And you actually get that on here. Okay, uh, work as a team. Your team members are headstrong individuals. They won't blindly follow the leader, but if one of the members are in trouble, you have to defend him or her. You have the direct control to guide through the actions and stuff. Mission objectives. Find the settlement. Okay, we are John Crichton. Crichton spelled C-R-I-C-H-T-O-N. Not Crichton or Critton. 
as many people have said. One of these days, I'm actually going to land something. What? Nothing. You okay? No. I'm making all over. Did you have to hit every sand dune on this rock landing that thing? Pip, any landing you walk away from is a good landing. What? It's a saying. No wonder none of you made it out of your system. I should have hit with Rigel. Whatever. I'm sure we flew over a settlement to the south here before we landed. Seems like the obvious place to start. What? Walk? You got a better idea? I'm hurt. You could carry me. Knock it off, Pip. I'm not in the mood. Alright. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna run around and shoot some bugs and aliens and shit. Get some supplies. Um, Crichton. What now? I've not got a very good weapon. What have you... That's a piece of Aaron's prowler. She's gonna kill you. I just picked it up. It must have come off when you crashed it. We were shot down. You should be grateful we got down at all. I think there's something over there. I think we should go around it. Don't fret, little vixen. I grabbed my pulse pistol on the way out. I'll handle it if it gets grouchy. Look out. So, yeah, we're gonna shoot some shit. Ouch. For real. Click on stuff and pick it up here, like little shells and things and you know, parts of the animals that you can use for trading. See those tire tracks. You pretty much just a little exploring around here before you actually go to the settlement. I don't remember what difficulty this is on. I don't know if there is a difficulty. I can't remember. Probably not. Over there. Ouch. Ouch. Shanna, you're dying, babe. Let's go over here and get this real quick. Ouch. Ouch. Damn right, ouch. Pick up some parts here. Walk around. As you can see up here in the little map that we have uh there's some monsters up toward the front there china's got some good uh you know um health going you know building the health here you can click on the in a little inventory and figure it out pulse pistol you got your uh check and oil cartridge which is pretty much uh if you've watched the series you know where that comes from uh, let's just give her that, yeah. And then Chiana. That's all she's got right now. Run and walk, run and walk. Run! So that's secondary fire mode right there. Whenever you fire. It takes a lot more, but it also is more effective. Right click by doing that. Okay, let's continue. Over there. Ouch. Ouch. about to die. She won't stop fighting people. All right, let's pick up some of this shit. Anybody watching this actually watch Farscape back in the day? Hmm? 1999. Look out! Look out yourself! Ouch. 
probably you punch instead of like you actually using the weapon there. Let's see. I forget how to change between that. Ah, however I did that, I did. Yay. I forget. Yeah, I should have went through the tutorial a little better, but I didn't. Okay, uh, return to game. Click, click, boom. Let's walk, let's run and punch, Crichton. John Crichton, an astronaut. Radiation wave hit and he got shot through a wormhole. Now he's lost in some distant part of the universe. Look out. Look out yourself, babe. Help me. Take care of that. Come on over here. Help me. I was helping you. Yay. Yeah, you know, graphically, uh, couldn't expect from something like 2002 and based off a TV show and created real simple like, you know. Let's circle back around and get some more stuff. The more things you have, the more you can trade with villagers. You can exit and come back and... You know, keep collecting and stuff, or I think you can, I can't remember. I played this game through the whole thing and, you know, made it all the way to the ending and found out what was going on and all that. Hopefully I can piece together all the, uh, uh, video clips that come with it because they don't capture on, uh, here. But I'll just splice them in as I go and post. Post is after the fact. Pre is before the fact. So if you're watching this, you know, you've watched Farscape, tell me uh, in the comments below who your favorite character is and why. Or if you've ever, like, were a, a scaper, as we were called back in the day. Um, or probably still, still are scapers. You know, tell me all about it. If you uh, remember chatting with me or Ubatorn and all of us there, and the IRC chat channel for uh, for sci-fi and the Farscape, you know, used to talk to uh, people on the show that would pop in every once in a while, get fan reactions and stuff. That was pretty cool. Filmed in Australia, uh, Farscape, Jim Henson Company. Got nine studios. I guess we've killed everything. I didn't mean to. I'm not going to make this uh, first one very long. But, uh... Yeah, if, if you want to, like, Over continue there. watching it. Help me. I'm trying to, Chayana. I'm me. trying to help you, die, baby. Help, help me. Yay, I helped you. I'm really dead and I helped you. Alright, let's keep going. Just keep wandering around here. Lost. You can hold the button down and continue running. I was running. The idea on the first uh, opening level here is to uh, kill as many things as you can to collect as much as you can. La la la. la 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 Hopefully YouTube doesn't flag this as like a Ooh, you use music from a video game kind of thing. Uh, yeah, this this uh, let's play sucks, doesn't it? Uh I haven't done it in a while. I don't know how to do one anymore. I pretty much just gave up on it. What is that flying around? Gianna. Gianna. Help me. I'm trying to, baby. Help me. Help me. Get 
You're doing a pretty damn good job by yourself. Every time I'm me helping you, I'm the one punching. Alright. Okay. I think that's about it. Ninety frames a second. So yeah, it's pretty basic, you know. Not a whole lot to it. Come on now, run! Yeah, you can swap between characters, like Chiana. Played by Gigi Edgeley in real life. Ben Browder played John Crichton. Uh-oh, did we hit a dead end? Sure did. I'm a dumbass. Follow me, Crichton. I know the way. Belongs in a museum. Oh. Ben Browder's hilarious sometimes. He always got beat up on the show. I don't mean like in real life, but his character always got beat up. Did we get that way? Yeah, okay. Let's swap back to John Crichton. Because his name is John Crichton, bitch. He's an astronaut. <laughs> ah, yep, here we go. Running around. So essentially, you've crash landed on the planet. And Aaron's prowler, and she's going to be pissed about that. She's always pissed about her problem. Da -da 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 -da. I'm going to try to make it to the settlement in this first edition. See, we're backtracking, getting some stuff we missed. So once we reach the settlement, that's when things are going to be settled. Wish you could go towards the settlement. Yes. No. <laughs> Alright. Find the settlement. Change over to the pulse pistol. Zan, Crichton, Gianna, please respond. Pilot, man, it's good to hear your voice. How you doing? Where's Aaron and Dargo? Zan, Crichton, Chiana, are you there? We're here, pilot. Can you hear me? Pilot! Come on, where are you, lobster man? Gotta get a better phone. Alright. Run! Don't need to let that stuff hit us. Look out. <coughs> Me amo John Crichton. An astronante. Yep, I see it. Run! Gina, you're running right toward danger. I do that. Alright, come over here. Let's pick up some shit. Do we pick up some shit over here? Do we miss the shit? Let's see. The shells and things. I forget. Well, we'll go back that way anyway in a minute.
Essentially, there's these little crate things here. What do we have here? A pulse pistol. What are you doing out here on your own? You're gonna come in handy. They gotta give you a name. Winona. I'm gonna call you Winona. See? That's where he gets his Winona pistol from. Alright. Let's see. Let's pick up Winona. There she is. See? You can't give it to Chiana. You, you keep it yourself. Okay. What we're going to do is give Chiana the other one. And then we're going to see if we can... Give her about half of that, and then swap over to Chiana, and then give her the pulse pistol. That way we're both pulse pistoling. And if we need to, we'll change back. Because she may have been more effective by punching things. We'll kill it! Oh, okay. Punching works for some things, and the actual weapons you are they're Over best there. for other things. Uh, really gotta get that back down again. I used to be good at this game. Huh, there's nothing really being hard to it. It's just, you suck. Yeah, pretty much. Do, do, do. There for a while on any other version I never could get this game to work. I've tried to use it like on Windows 7 and XP even in the past and it never would work right. I think it was compatibility mode issues. Uh oh. Damn it. Chiana, you're blocking me in, babe. There you go. Chiana. Channer. Fear car, Dargo, that big skull. And if you're, you know, again, if you haven't watched the show, Ka Dargo is a Luxon. He's got uh, his tentacles that are pretty much like hair, you know, they come off his head to the back. Then you have Moya, which is the living ship that they all live on. And I think right now, during the story of this. Epis or this video game, she's still pregnant with her son Talon. Um, that's only if you've ever watched the show, you know what I'm talking about. If not, uh, go back and watch it. Watch the show. Over there. This is why we go back. Look out for what? For real. Help me. You don't want to get shot at, not me. <laughs> eh. There we go. Ding dong. Ding dong. The witch is dead. The wicked witch. The wicked witch. What the hell is that thing? Over there. Oh, wow. Slowly regenerate health. Over there. For real. Chiana, I might want to go back and, like, give you your little whoop-ass stick. You were doing a whole lot better with that. I think you were. Over there. Pick 
it up, pick it up, pick it up, Crichton. 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 Triton, as they would call him and spell it. I actually made a little web page on the uh, website that I had there. It's called It's Spelled Crichton. And uh, I would spell it right in the very top of it, you know, and all the other misspellings I would have down there that, uh, what can I shoot? Shit. Um, all the um, misspellings that people would put in there, you know, like when we were chatting and stuff, I'd, I'd put it down and write it, put it on there, and, and keep putting and putting and putting. You no, know, repeating shit too much and too often. Words we replace whenever we don't know what to say. Run away, run away. Run away! Oh, the rear thing is there. Yes. What's that? Let's go. Pilot! Aaron! Pilot, anybody out there? If you can hear this, we've arrived at a local town. If you can isolate their power sources, you should be able to find us. There doesn't seem to be many settlements about. We're gonna go ahead and try to get the Prowler fixed, then work out how to get you and Moya free. If you can get us a message, tell us how you guys are doing. Do you want to go into the town? <gasps> Do you?